Today we're talking about 13 of the 2022 models of Harley Davidsons that have already been delivered to dealerships and which remaining models have not shown up yet and what that could mean. Hello everyone, I am Mike and welcome to New Bike Mike where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it is free. Dealerships have started posting videos and pictures on social media about the 2022 models that are being delivered to the dealerships. I expect them to be on the floors for everyone to see as fast as the dealership can get them set up. I was told by a local dealer they will be on the floor by this weekend. Last year, some of the models were delivered before the launch event, but models that were getting upgrades were not. So this is one of those times where, again, what is important is which models we are not seeing yet. We will go over those, but first, let's run through the list of bikes that I've been able to find so far. 1. 883 Sportster. You can tell by the front fender and the rocker covers, this is an 883. 2. 48. You can tell by the tire, fender, air cleaner, and rocker covers that this is a 48. 3. Pan America Special. You can tell this is a special by the handguards. And the blue looks a lot better than I expected on this model. 4. Street Glide Special. Here we can see the Street Glide Special in gunmetal gray with the same 114 engine as last year. 5. Road Glide Special. Now we have a Road Glide Special in the new white sand pearl and it still has the 114. 6. Road Glide Limited. This Road Glide Limited is in gunmetal gray and also has a 114. 7. Ultra Limited. This time we get a Batwing bike with reef blue and black and it looks great on this Ultra Limited with the 114. 8. Road King Special. Vivid Black is always a favorite and it looks great on this Road King Special with the 114. 9. Fat Bob 114. The new graphic on the tank of this bike looks pretty good. I was kind of surprised how much I liked it on the Fat Bob 114. 10. Street Bob 114. I found a few shots of the Street Bob 114 in blue and in red. And that red looks better than I expected. Oh, did you notice the spoke wheels are gone? 11. Soft Tail Standard. There it is, the 107 engine that so many people predicted was going away, and the spoke wheels are gone for this model also. 12. Road Glide. Just to prove the point, I saved this one almost to last, so you can clearly see that 107 air cleaner on this Road Glide as well. 13. Electric Glide Standard. If you look over the nose of this Road Glide Limited, you will see an electric glide, which is pretty easy to spot based on the dash, so I'm assuming it's not going to get any upgrades either. So now we know the 107 is not being killed in the 2022s. Let's talk about what's missing and why that may be important. Last year, bikes that were getting upgrades and featured in the launch were not delivered to dealerships before the launch event. So any bike that doesn't show up by the launch date should be getting some form of an update. Let's hope it's more than just a change from satin chrome to brilliant chrome like they'd featured on the Fat Boy last year. Now we already know the Iron 1200, the Slim, and the Sport Glider being cut. No sign of the Lowrider yet either, and that's no surprise because everyone is talking about how the Lowrider S Touring version is going to come out, and that's been a rumor that's been going around for weeks, if not months. What else is missing? Well, I have not seen any of the Heritage Classics yet, but my guess is it will not be offered with the 107 this year, so that's going to be the change for that model. No Road King yet either, so I'm guessing this bike will also get a 114. No Fatboy 114 still, so do you think it could be getting an upgraded motor? Or do you think they're up to something else with the fat boy? I haven't spotted any trikes yet either. Now just because I haven't seen these models doesn't mean they won't show up to dealerships before the launch still. These bikes have only been getting delivered for a day or two now. If you see them posted somewhere, let me know in the comments down below. I also want to know in the comments what do you think Harley is going to do in the way of upgrades for the missing models. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel grow. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.